Welcome Pisces Aries to your chakra reading for February. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in your chakra. It's for balance reasons over here. Let's see what's going on. We have the wisdom. Talking about that beautiful um, heart chakra going on over here. Of course, it's located within the heart area. And this is where you're getting all your compassion, um, all the love, all the things you do love. I mean, it's coming with this loving wisdom coming through. The wisdom of love. This card is talking about, is there some wise counsel that you have sought only to ignore it? Or are you trying to do things alone? A solution may come through from those experiencing more than yourself. Stay in the present moment and do not let your thoughts jump ahead of you. Go with what your heart wants. Do I go with my heart or against it? And I'm ready to live in leadership. Nice. It's talking about that trend. Uh, tranquility and support as well. So very nice. Don't worry about things that, that, you know, are not really that important, right? Sometimes we hold on to things that are really not that important. It's just because it frustrates us. Make sure that you're actually learning and doing what you want from your heart, um, right? Because you have to come to the conclusion that some of the things that go on within our life, we're holding on to things that don't help us, right? They just frustrate us. So the wise counsel is let those things go, right? It's, it's not worth holding on to, right? It's just nonsense in the end. Um, so going with the truth, and the truth is we want to go for the best of what we really want, allowing our heart to go where it needs to go, um, not holding on to things that don't bless us. Um, with the rainbow blessings, blessings are showering your life. Allow those blessings to come through to shower your life. See the truth within yourself. So this will be a lot more freedom. With the heart shuffle, we do feel the freedom. The heart is the place where freedom can flow um, and go and, you know, continuing to build and go this way and that way. Building up this wisdom within us to say, yeah, that's not good for me. I shouldn't be there. Um, very nice. So getting an overall card. Bring this over just a little. Getting an overall card over here. The chakra for you is. Whoa. Communicating the truth within yourself to allow this to just flow the way it needs to flow. Right? So there's a lot of truth that needs to be told about the situation of which way it is towards those rainbow blessings. Once you actually find the truth within the matter of what is good and what is not, you will be able to move in the right direction. Um, not allowing those things to worry you anymore. And remember, worry does nothing. It just keeps us stressed out, gives us insomnia, makes our stomach hurt, things of this nature, but it doesn't fix anything. So getting a couple cards over here on top of the wisdom. Keeping yourself encouraged to do the things you need to do, bringing out the beautiful reds and the oranges um, in this situation. Also, she's got this beautiful gold going on saying that she is in the all-knowing and she has the Midas touch, um, knowing her spiritual um, enlightenment and higher places where, where spirit really wants us to be. Um, and then knowing also with, this, with the red in the card is also talking about she's a very stable woman, right? Um, the, this Leo over here, you could be dealing with this Leo. Maybe they are encouraging you. Um, maybe this is the wise counsel that you have around you. Um, if not, it's just telling you to be this wise counsel to yourself and allow yourself to have more stable and more courage um, to listen to what your heart has to say and your intuition um, so that you can do the things and move in the places that you need to be, <laughs> that you need to be. So the truth is getting you uh, moving in new directions and directions toward the rainbow blessings. I love how the chair is kind of moving towards the rainbow blessings over here. So it is saying it's moving you in higher positions and higher truths and knowledges and the strength. Again, another beautiful Leo card. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but this strength that you have going on over here is allowing you to take back the reins that you need to be able to have these blessings come towards you um, and not, you know, letting anything um, kind of destabilize what you've been doing so much of, because if you're putting all the intentions and all of the worries and doubts into something that's not, not bringing in anything, I mean, it is definitely holding back that chariot for you. 
um, because you're not focused where the focus needs to be. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're focused in those areas of our life where it's most important um, and really communicating that with the universe and with you, within yourself. Or within this wise council who is helping you and giving you advice, right? Okay, so getting a couple angel cards. Because there is something better, Spirit says. There's something so much better for you. You know, the rainbow blessings are right in front of your face. You just need to let go of things that no longer, no need to worry, that keep us worried, that keep us down, that keep us where we're kind of set at the shore instead of jumping into the water. Let's see what the law and attraction cards have to say really quick. Giving you that boost of energy over here. And remember, at the end, there's also a meditation one-minute video for relaxation just to kind of clear the mind and get you kind of set on your way over here. Um, it is my outro for all videos, so that way you can always keep yourself in peace. My creative workshop process works for me. So the creative workshop progress, um, these actually come with a creative workshop, um, but uh, actually your creative wor workshop is just you bringing yourself to peace, bringing in your own meditative um, process, right? That's all that really is. If you will use your time with the intention to collect data that you may bring into your, your own workshop, right, for yourself, you will find every day to be one of fun. And the creative workshop for you would be bringing up the courage, bringing in the strength, understanding uh, your heart, going with your heart's desire, really pushing to yourself to the limits of uh, some kind of self-reflection. Because this says over here with the second card coming out is I turn can turn a, a downward spiral upward. So as you focus on the best of what you do have, even if it's only as a small part of your experience, the law and attraction will now bring you more of the essence of that. And so you can replace a downward spiral with a fast moving upward spiral. We see that here with the chariot moving you in the direction that you really need as it's fastly coming in. Um, and by simply directing your thoughts more to the things you do want with the wisdom card. So, yes, spirit that is very important. So making sure that you're keeping to the intentions of what's really good for you. Okay. And we'll get a couple of cards over here on there's something better. There is something better. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is talking about the ultimate change um, from one direction to the next direction, bringing in some good change, good cycles, and good fortune for you as soon as you have this better understanding of what to let go of. Um, and yes, finding the new directions and using the intuition to bring you to these new directions. Which way is the best way for me so that I can leap forward and really taking that risk for yourself, my friends? Okay. And that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.